claims the legends of wrestling could be a little painful to the novice wrestler. If you don't know what you're doing, you will get your butt kicked. So to get some wrestling insights, we hooked up with two of the biggest legends in wrestling history. The great Rowdy Roddy Piper and the king of wrestling himself, Jerry Lawler. This is fun! This game here does not uh, have a bunch of guys flipping around in the air like a bunch of flying bambinos. And it gets quite interesting when you... It's very much of a chess match that, that happens. All right, here's a little tip for the video game. You want to throw your opponent over the top rope, which is always a devastating move. You hit the circle, then the D-pad, and then R2. Woo! You flip them like a cheese omelet. When I go in the ring, I just don't uh, walk in the ring, you know, uh, without doing my homework. I know who the guy is. I know what his weaknesses are. And that's what the game's all about. That's how you're going to have the most fun out of it. Best way to defeat Bret Hart is, I would say, take his knees out. Uh, because a sharpshooter is one of the things he puts on. So in order for him to put the sharpshooter on, he needs needs to do that. The King always had one of the strongest, toughest, meanest right hands in the business, but the big finisher was the pile driver. That's what did Andy Kaufman in and a host of others. It's the way to deliver a patented King Lawler pile driver. You tie your opponent up when you're at full strength and then you hit your right analog stick, boom, bang, there it comes, the big pile driver. Well, Hulk Hogan's coming at you. First thing you want to do is go like this. Ah! Ah! Because you see, you see the lights on his bald head flicking in your eyes. Ah! Ah! And then, you know, after that, just stand sideways. He's dumber than the fence post, man.